This video was originally recorded May 2018 at Tibet House US in New York City. To watch the full archive recording, please visit tibethouse.us. Uh, it's born of many conditions, right? There are many contributing factors to that. And Mark brought all these great books to read. I didn't bring the book that I'm about to read. Uh, <laughs> but I, I don't know, probably five times in the last two days, people have brought it up. This book called Lost Connections. Did you read it? Not yet. Did you hear it? No. Uh, I don't know what you'll end up thinking about it, but the subtitle is something like The Real Cause of Depression. Yeah, um, the real. It's called Lost Connections, the Real Cause of Depression? Yeah. Is that it? Oh. Antidepressants don't work. Yeah, well, that, that is another thing, but <laughs> <laughs> that I don't necessarily agree with. But, uh, you know, it's about connection and how uh, we are so phenomenally lonely these days, by and large, because the old ways we used to connect have kind of dissolved in so many ways. And we don't have that kind of social fabric or network that would once sustain us so that um, you know, there's a way of expressing yourself. Even if you, I don't know, even if you felt crummy, for example, maybe you could help out somebody else within that community. And, and there was a way that you then felt a different sense of worth and something like that. And those things are not so prevalent anymore. And so here we are, you know, uh, not only needing to try to find solutions from within, but looking at creating systems and patterns and networks and ways of being with one another that will actually make a difference with, with all of these things because the suffering is phenomenal. And uh, the irony, of course, is that nobody sets out to suffer more. You know, we set out to feel a whole lot better than we feel. And we just fall into these, these patterns and these, these ways of being that are so often so destructive or damaging. And so uh, understanding is a huge thing. <coughs> and the ability to step back from one's patterns instead of either hating them or falling into them, just to step back and take a look is a huge thing. And this is what we really uh, we talk about when we talk about mindfulness. It's so much fun for me to be here with Bob and Mark, Dr. Bob and Dr. Mark. Um, <laughs> and uh, there have been, I don't know, countless times when uh, I've sat up here with Dr. Mark, for example, and uh, he talks about D.W. Winnicott, whom we did not talk about today, not as one of his great influencers who is a psychoanalyst, right, in the 50s. And uh, one of Dr. Winnicott's um, famous sayings uh, was, just be a good enough mother. Just be a good enough mother. And in response to the gender difference, uh, Mark says, I'm going to quote Mark throughout this story, Mark says, well, it was the 50s in, in Great Britain, the people who were presenting with the kids were the mothers. So. Let's say, be a good enough parent. And somebody always raises their hands and says, well, what's a good enough parent? <coughs> and Mark says, somebody who can survive their child's rage. <laughs> and then somebody raises their hand and says, what does it mean to survive your child's rage? And then Mark says, uh, neither be like invasive and controlling, nor distant and rejecting. Retaliate, it's, not to retaliate and not to abandon. Yeah, not yeah. to abandon and not to, like, retaliate. Thank you. You know, and it's just this place in the middle where you can be with in a very different way. And then I always say, that's mindfulness. That's what we call mindfulness. You know, to be with in a very different way. So as we embark on this kind of path of discovery, always keeping in mind and honoring that wish to be happy. And we see probably many things that we try and that we assume and that we're attached to. And 
that are not really fulfilling. Um, it's always in that light, you know, of holding this in, in, in a very different way. And just so, we also see um, those courageous shoots, you know, that come forth when uh, we do try, we do look at things differently, or the fact that we, you know, come to a place like this and it's hot. And that's okay. Um, you know, we're okay enough. And uh, things like that. And so uh, I want to keep coming back to that quality and that difference, that holding environment, that way of seeing, um, that different way of being with what we discover, because what we discover will be uh, very varied and, and uh, different in many ways, both the, the glorious attributes that we have in some really difficult places as well. Okay, so I think that's it for now. This video was brought to you in part through the generous support of the Tibet House U.S. membership community and viewers like you. To learn more about the benefits of Tibet House membership, including special trips with Robert Thurman and friends with geographic expeditions, please visit tibethouse.us. Tashi Delek, and thanks for tuning in.